Hi everyone, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel and to the first official Columbia vlog. First of all, I'm sorry if that fan is really loud and it's blowing my hair very dramatically as well but I need it on because it's really hot. But yeah, if you guys didn't see my last vlog which was me travelling to Colombia, I am just about to start a backpacking trip around South and Central America. So if you've not seen the last vlog I'll link it below but in that video I solo travelled all the way from Manchester to Madrid to Colombia. I am literally going to be vlogging every single part of this trip so if you want to follow along make sure that you're subscribed. But yeah today is February 17th, it is actually almost half three. I've just checked into my hostel room. If you guys saw the end of the last vlog I arrived in Colombia this morning and I've just been waiting to check into my hostel room so I couldn't check in until three. I'm staying at El Viajero Hostel here in Medellin and I will do a full hostel tour at some point in this vlog but I've not actually had like a full walk around the hostel yet but yeah I'm honestly so tired now had quite an eventful morning because I made some friends and we went out walking around the town and we went for lunch and stuff so I've not had a chance to like sit and rest yet since I got off the plane so I'm just gonna do that now get all my stuff unpacked and then I'm gonna meet up with my friends who I met before I'm gonna go for some food and then we're gonna go out tonight for the first of many Columbia parties, I'm sure. I look a lot more presentable right now. I just had a little nap and got them ready. And I'm just heading to the rooftop to meet my friends to go out for some food and drinks. So we're just going out for food. I'm with Anna and Bob, who hey. you guys met before. And also our nuevo amigo, Felipe. <laughs> Hola. From Colombia. <laughs> From Santa Marta. Santa Marta. He's on holiday here. Um, now we're just looking for food. I don't know what type of food we're gonna get, but I'm super hungry, so I don't really mind. <laughs> so we chose a tacos restaurant. We got some quesadillas, cocktails. <laughs> 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 I guess it's kind of like my first actual day because yesterday I got here. So last night, I don't remember the last thing that I filmed, but we went to this like rooftop bar. It was really fun, but we didn't stay that late to be honest because I was super tired. Right now, me and Anna are on our way to go to do a tour of, it's called Comuna 13, Comuna 13. It used to be one of the world's most dangerous neighborhoods. You can take a tour of it. It's apparently been like transformed into like this really cool neighborhood now. So I'm super excited to see it actually. It was like one of the top things on my list to do here. And it's a free tour as well. So we're just walking to the metro station now. We decided instead of taking an Uber, we would go on the metro because we're saving money. And I actually heard good things about the metro here. A lot of people said it's like a European metro, so we're gonna find out. So we just got off the metro. It was kind of a chaotic experience. It was like so, so busy, but it was actually pretty easy to use. And it's like quarter past one now. Our tour isn't until two. So we decided to just sit down and get a drink at this cafe. So I just got a Coke and I got this Colombia drink. Um, is it good? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> we ordered these cheese things and then I got an empanada with meat. I've not tried it yet. But They're I just ordered cheap, more. Actually, like is it good? Pesos. Yeah, I think it was like, was it 2000? Yeah, That's it. very, very cheap. This is our view the cable cars. It's like bread with cheese. So as I said, Comuna 13 used to be one of the most dangerous neighbourhoods in the world, but it's now been completely transformed into this really vibrant neighbourhood, which is full of art, dance and culture. I don't want to give you guys too many spoilers of the things that you'll see on the tour, but it is just 
amazing and I think it will just completely give you a whole new outlook on this country and on life like not to get too deep but this is one of my favorite things I've ever done so here we saw this really good dance group and then we saw rap battles as well we saw lots of artists we spoke with local people and also the tour guide tells you loads of information about the history of the communa the cartel war how it used to be the most dangerous neighborhood and basically how it's been transformed into what it is now so there's so so many interesting facts and i learned so much on this tour and obviously it is free as well if you do book it with a company like zippy which i would really recommend them so it's now the next day i've just come out for breakfast with my new friend also look at my eye um, i woke up today and it was just like this i have no idea why hoping it's not going to be another eye infection but we'll see we're in this really nice cafe that's just on the street of our hostel hi <laughs> hi i'm izzy <laughs> Uh, we met in been, our hostel. Yeah, we met like last night, but she's checking out today because she's going to Cadiz and there. Some beaches, which I'm super excited for. Yes. So I'll be leaving out behind. And she just came from the jungle. Yeah. You're in the jungle for like three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah jungle for three weeks. No showers. So it's literally just bathing in the river, which is really weird. That's yeah. wild. And I came back so smelly, but yeah. <laughs> we just got our food. So I got this breakfast. This bagel. We both got the green smoothie, and Izzy got this um, charo waffle. Why did I forget the name? <laughs> waffle. It looks so good. Also, we just found out we went to follow each other on Instagram, <laughs> and we found we already followed each other. So like we had we had spoken at some point, I think, but <laughs> we just didn't remember. <laughs> But she was like, I thought I recognised you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, so I thought I recognised you from Manchester. So, <laughs> the funniest thing just happened. This like TV crew came into the cafe and they asked me like in Spanish, they were like, oh, can we film you like eating your food for our show? So I was like, oh, okay. But I'd already finished, so I had to like, it was so awkward. I was like cutting up the <laughs> leftover bagel and like eating it. So now I'm going to be on Colombian TV. I don't know what channel, I don't know what it's for, but yeah, I'm going to be on TV. So Izzy has just told me this wild story. So was this two weeks ago when you first got here? Yeah, yeah. So when she first got here to Colombia in Medellin two weeks ago, her and her friend from the hostel were like walking in the park. It was daytime, it was like really busy. And they got robbed at gunpoint by these guys. She managed to get her phone back. Did your friend get her phone back as well? Yeah. But they didn't get back like the money and like cards and everything, but she got her phone back. Basically how they identified the guy, they brought up like all these images of people that they'd arrested and Izzy saw that the guy was wearing her jacket, <laughs> like her jacket that he'd stolen that she had on. He's wearing it in the mugshot, so she was like, wait, that's my jacket, that's the guy. This is the guy. She has the mugshot, this is the guy. <laughs> okay, if you were in Medellin yeah. you see this guy, <laughs> send the bad vibes. This like Colombian family helped her use Find My iPhone to find her phone. And then the police actually gave it back to her. We got sent a statement that we had to send, and that's how long the statement was. No way. <laughs> yeah, so they made her, the police made her and her friends say like certain things. Like that we were talk, like, uh, walking around at the night time, that only our yeah. phones and my jacket got stolen compared to like my watch and everything else. Yeah. Like that. So the only things that were covered were stolen. And like really weirdly specific things as yeah. well. Like, the guy was wearing a t-shirt with a dog on it. Really? That's so bizarre. Yeah, so <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy you got your phone back though. Precious phone. <laughs> and she's getting like her debit cards posted here. We've got a Revolut posted here and a Monzo posted to Costa Rica. <laughs> I'm so happy you didn't let it like throw you no, yeah. off though. I think my parents were a bit like... Come home right yeah, now. Yeah. Are you okay? I know. What's going on? Yeah. But not to scare you guys because I was literally about to say. I mean I've only been here two days but I feel like super super safe here. I am just on my tour. I actually came by myself today. Um, my friend Anna's doing a different tour. She's doing like a coffee one I think. 
but I came on the Pablo Escobar tour. When I say by myself, I mean like I came here by myself, but there's obviously other people in my tour group. I think there's nine people, they're mainly like couples. I think I'm the only one by myself, but I don't really care. The first stop is this memorial park, which is like a memorial to all the victims who died in this like cartel war between two cartels, Pablo's cartel and then like the rival one. Morning, but it's basically the same shape. 89, the bomb, dos, which is two, three, and uh, well. We found bags of water in the supermarket. Yeah. Never seen that before, <laughs> six litres of water. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know how you would drink out of that, but whatever. If you chop it there, it? And I got some eye drops for my eye because it's still really red. Hopefully these are going to fix it. And here's a man new friend from the hostel. What's Hi your there. name? Where are you from? I'm Matt. George, both from Oxford. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice Opposite end of the country to me. The better end of the country. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should I hit the camera? No, please don't. <laughs> So, we decided instead of going out, well, they decided that they were going to cook pasta and I'll show you how it turned out. Here's the masterpiece by George. <laughs> Was that your first meal that you cooked? Uh, One of. Born, yeah. yeah, yeah. He tries as hard as He tried really hard. To be fair, it's got flavour, it's just turned out really mushy. Bon appetit. What day is it today? Monday. It's Monday. So it's now Monday morning. Um, I'm so tired today. Me and Anna have come on another tour. We're doing the, I think it's called the Downtown Medellin Tour. It's actually my last morning with Anna. She's going to leave this afternoon. My first friend. <laughs> my first friend in South America. We're actually doing the tour in Spanish. I think we booked it in English originally, but now we're just going to do it in Spanish because why not? Why not? Why not? And I can practice the Spanish as well. <laughs> so yeah, we just got an Uber to the meeting point, which is in like, I think it's called Botero Plaza. Um, this looks very different to Poblado where we're staying. This looks like the real Medellin. And there's like no gringos here. <laughs> we just stopped for a little break and me and Anna got some me and Anna got some empanadas and some coffee. It was our empanadas. But our coffee came in this bowl, like a soup. And our nuevo amigo Diego. Good coffee. <laughs> Presentation is good. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Cuéntame tu nombre y dónde vienes. Hola, soy Jorge Barragán. Soy de Ciudad de México. Bueno, y vine a la ciudad de Medellín a conocer gente increíble. I just got this drink to try. ¿Cómo se llama? Guarapo. 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 It's made of sugar cane. Guarapo, sugar cane, lime. Yeah, sugar cane and lime. ¿Quieres que te... ¿Sí? ¿Seguimos grabando? Sí, está grabando. Ah, ok, entonces... Bueno, cuéntanos, uh, how, how is it? You like it? Primeras impresiones. But it's crazy. Ah, ahí está, ahí está. No, está grabando. Ok. What are your impressions about this? Super nice. Lime. It's like lime juice, like sweet, yeah. refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's leaving. Uh, I'm still so sad. <laughs> I'm saying like the good part about traveling is meeting friends, but the sad part was when you had to say goodbye. Yeah. I'm really sad. She's moving on to the coast. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like a few days behind you, but not in the same place at the same yeah. time. But I'm sure we're gonna meet again. Yes. Anywhere in, in Brazil. Brazil. In Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just out for dinner with Diego, who I met on the walking tour today. I'll show you what we got. Here's Hi. Diego. He got tacos. Muy rico, muy rico. I got quesadillas and a pina colada. In English, if you want. Yeah, I'm Ray. 
I'm here with Emma in Medellin, uh, with Diego and with Hennessy also. Hi, from Panama. Uh, I'm from Venezuela actually, but oh. I've, I've lived in Panama for over 12 years. Mm -hmm. And we're enjoying Medellin. It was, it, it, it's, been, it, it's been awesome to meet Emma. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hennessy. I'm from Panama. I'm from a little town called Chiriqui. So <laughs> it's nice to meet you all, guys. <laughs> Where's Gloria? Hi guys, it is Wednesday. I don't know how well you can hear me or see me because it's actually my first time using my GoPro, so hopefully it's working. But today me and Diego are doing paragliding. I'm so excited. Vamos a hacer parapente. Parapente, estamos listos. Estamos listos. We just climbed to the top of the mountain. It was actually so difficult. I could, I was struggling to breathe kind of because I think it's like a really high altitude but Diego is from Ecuador so he's yeah, used to the high altitude very easy for me so now we're just waiting for our turn to set off and yeah I'm very excited let's see how it goes <laughs> so these are the clips of me paragliding honestly this is one of the most amazing things I've ever done I really really recommend you guys do it but it is super cheap to do in Colombia this only cost me about 30 pound and that also included all the gopro pictures and videos and also here is my very fast landing look at the guys chasing me to catch me so i'm actually going to end this medellin vlog here because i'm actually in my next location now which is salento so if you want to see what i got up to in salento then make sure that you are subscribed if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a little comment below honestly i had the most amazing time in Medellin. It's become one of my new favourite cities in the world and I just think it was a perfect place for me to start my trip. I had so much fun there which I'm sure you guys could tell from the vlog. I met so many amazing people. Also thanks to the friends I met who wanted to appear in the vlog. That was super nice to have you all in the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next Columbia video. And also follow my Instagram and my TikTok because I post a lot on there as well. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Bye.